Okay, so the next thing we're going to look at is lowest common multiples. This is the lowest number that any two, three, however many numbers will all fit into. So let's look at an example. Let's look at the lowest common multiple of four and seven. So we need the lowest number that they both fit inside of. Best way to do this, first thing, do four times seven. So that's where we start off. We start off with four times by seven. Okay, and we all know that that is 28. We then list all the multiples of four and all the multiples of seven up to 28. So let's do it for four. We've got four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, and finally 28. Stop there. And now for seven. Seven for seven. 14, 21, and 28. And we can see they don't share any numbers other than 28. Therefore, 28, so the lowest common multiple, is therefore 28. Okay? That's not always the case. It's not always the number you find here. Okay, so now we'll look at 6 and 8. So now we need to find the lowest common multiple of 6 and 8. Again, first thing you do, 6 times by 8. Okay, 6 times by 8 is obviously 48. Okay, so now we do all the multiples of 6 and 8 up to 48. So we'll start with 6. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48. Okay. Don't be embarrassed, by the way, about doing this for your timesing as well. If you want to do 6 times 8, don't be embarrassed about writing that in the margin. I always used to do it. Okay, now we do all the multiples of 8. So we've got 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, and 48. So, we know 48 is a multiple, common multiple, because they both go into it. Is there anything else lower down? We can see straight away, there certainly is. 24. They both go into 24. So therefore, 24 is the lowest common multiple. This comes in handy later on. So, have a practice at the questions, make sure you understand it properly, and I'll see you back for the next lesson.